Hello, this is a quick video I'm making detailing a problem I'm having with uh, the analog uh, devices AD9989B HDMI DVI transmitter and the AD9984A 10-bit um, display interface. Uh, we've created a board uh, for converting component, analog component video to HDMI. And you can see I have a, a video test generator generating a test signal, um, uh, which is a component video at 720p, 10, uh, 1280 by 720, 60 hertz. That's coming out and uh, going into our test board here, um, uh, which feeds into the AD9984A, which in turn feeds into the um, AD9889B, which then goes out uh, via HDMI. Um, the output from the video test generator is actually going into a uh, video uh, distribution device or a splitter. Um, one output from the splitter is attached to the HDMI board. The other output is going directly to a uh, TV screen here on the right to display the video test generator test pattern. There is another television uh, immediately to its left which is displaying the output of our HDMI test board. Um, the problem that I'm experiencing uh, primarily is that blacks and uh, whites are appearing green. They're green tinged and the colors seem to be um, off. Uh, again on the right side you see the way that the picture is should look from the video test generator and on the left you see what we're actually getting out of our HDMI board. Um, you'll notice that the white color in the upper uh, left hand corner of both screens on the right it's white like it's supposed to be on the green on the left it's green and also the black is green. Um, this is a problem that I've been trying to solve for quite some time now and I'm not getting anywhere. I'm hoping somebody sees this video and can give me some hints as to how to fix it. Uh, you'll also notice that the horizontal placement is a little bit off on the left. Um, even though I am uh, following the table appearing in the AD9989B uh, programmer's manual. Uh, and using the proper H-Sync placement, H-Sync duration, and so on for a 720p signal. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure why the placement's off either, but uh, that's not as large a concern to me as the issue I'm having with the colors being off. Uh, the, the video format from chip to chip is um, YPBPR444, uh, the 444 format. Uh, that's how I have uh, the A to D converter set up and that's also how, how I have the um, HDMI DVI transmitter set up for YPBPR444. Um, it almost seems like, uh, like the uh, color conversion uh, is off maybe on the HDMI transmitter chip. Um, I don't know why this acting a little flaky, but that's the correct color chart. I also have a video camera set up here. I'm just going to put in a uh, video signal really quickly so I can show you how that looks. Okay, so on the right here we see uh, the videos. It's supposed to be 720p HD video. Uh, on the left here we see uh, the output from the HDMI board. And you'll notice that looks terrible and very green tinted in comparison to the television on the right. Okay, this is a quick demonstration of what happens when I uh, put in an RGB HB uh, video signal, uh, VGA video signal at um, uh, 640 by 480 I believe, yep, 60 hertz. Um, now I've reconfigured the uh, board for uh, the new VGA signal um, with separate syncs. Uh, previously I was using of course uh, YPBPR with sync on green or sync on luminance in this case. Um, but now I'm using the separate horizontal and vertical syncs 
and I'm getting a better result. Um, I uh, the white color uh, again. We have the two screens. This is the good screen. This is the screen coming from the HDMI board. Um, the white is now white, where as it was kind of a uh, light green before. Um, the black color is supposed to be appearing here, but again, it's green. Um, the other colors uh, look better than before. They're still not perfect. They still kind of look washed out. Uh, again, on the left is what uh, we're supposed to be seeing. But everywhere um, that black is supposed to appear, I see green. Uh, if I cycle through some of the other test patterns, this is the grayscale test pattern. Um, uh, it's another test pattern, a white screen. Okay, uh, here we have a crosshatch pattern. You can see over here black background, green background. Uh, another interesting thing is I have this set up so that I can unplug the color signals and just leave the horizontal and vertical sinks connected. Okay, so now I only have the horizontal and vertical sinks connected. No color information on the red, green, or blue. I should be seeing a black screen like I see on the right, but instead I see an all green screen. I, uh, I'm having some difficulty understanding how that could happen. Um, but, uh, yeah, when no color information is going into the circuit, I get a green screen. Um, that's it. Hopefully somebody can give me some pointers on how to fix this.